Hi, morning, guys. Um, <clears throat> I started to talk to you about this for a few more minutes because your work, your work is fairly self-explanatory for um today, guys. So I did get you to do the first three paragraphs for whichever question you had, question one, two, or three, from the three you can see um in front of you. So now, guys, in an exam situation, we have forty-five minutes to get one of these questions done. So I'm gonna get to you or ask you to get the question finished um for today. So you have three paragraphs done essentially, you're continuing on with the paragraphs um, from all of you should be at the end of Sunningdale now, no matter which question you actually have. So for question um, one, which was um, which was more successful, the Sunningdale Agreement or the Anglo-Irish Agreement, argue your case referring to both. Now I spoke to you about this yesterday, guys, for people of question one, you have the slightly trickier question. So if you wanna give another paragraph to Sunningdale, you can. You can also discuss more so about the Anglo-Irish Agreement, how we came to that point. Um, so you can talk about Margaret Thatcher's dealings with the um, hunger strikers and the assassination attempt um, on her. You really have to go into depth on um, on those. And obviously I've highlighted the keyword since yes, the successful is the keyword. So every paragraph you need to focus on was it success, why wasn't it success. So again, in Sunningdale, when you did that um, yesterday, that should have been a key point. Um, did it work? Why didn't it work? So you could have made a big focus on the um, Paisley and his um, strike. Question two then, guys, which is what was the importance? Again, I've highlighted the keywords, so the importance. Similar to question one, the only advantage you have is that the Downing Street Declaration is mentioned there. Now, if, I know you have your plans made from yesterday, guys, but um, I would always give two paragraphs to the Anglo-Irish Agreement. Again, like question one, link it to... Link it to... Um, the Anglo-Irish Agreement to why it was set up. Don't just go straight into the agreement, then talk about the key points of the agreement. And you can also talk about after the agreement, how it held up, what were the protests against the agreement. Um, talk about Paisley and his massive march again in um, Belfast. Talk about Paisley attempting to bring down the agreement, but not getting anywhere with it, and the agreement staying in place, which would emphasize the importance of it. It actually kept, it stuck in place, unlike Sunningdale, which collapsed because of Paisley and um, his strike. The Downing Street Declaration then will be, and um, probably your last paragraph, guys, will be less on that. But again, talk about the importance of it. So again, you can also discuss, pay, um, not Paisley, um, you can talk about Hume and Adams having discussions before the Downing Street Declaration. And obviously the importance being as well that the two governments were making these agreements now more so than the Northern Irish um, parties. But importance is your keyword for that, guys, okay? And then question three was um, the more open question. What moves were made towards finding a peaceful resolution to the troubles? You talk about that question, guys. Sunningdale and Irish Agreement at Downing Street Declaration as well. You have an added advantage. You can talk about the attempts to bring um, Sinn Féin in from the cold as well because that's a peaceful resolution. So um, you can talk about um, John Hume um, making the effort to actually hold talks with um, Jerry Adams and Sinn Féin and to make it more acceptable for them to come in from the cold. I said to you yesterday as well, guys, all three, you can make a small mention of the Good Friday Agreement at the end. So you can say how each of these agreements led ultimately to the Sunningdale Agreement, which brought ultimately full peace to um, Northern Ireland. You can leave that to the conclusion either if you want to remember the conclusion. The conclusion, you're answering your question. So look back at the question asked, make sure that you've answered it completely. And you're giving your own opinion, which you can do in the um, conclusion. Um, any questions, guys, um, send me an email. Um, when you get it finished, if you get it finished, uh, which you should do today, guys, um, send it on to me, please. Um, probably the best way to do that, guys, there, there is no good way of doing this other than sending a picture of it and putting it on up onto your OneNote, so in your own um, folder and maybe in Notes or maybe create an essay tab um, in there. It's not ideal, but it's pretty much the only option we have open to us today, guys. I'm going to be putting up videos of lessons then next week, guys, so keep on top of the calendar in your OneNote. And again, email me if there's any issues with your um, essay question. Be strict with timing though, guys. Again, so we have 40 minute glass today. It shouldn't take you. 40, 40 minutes should be the max it should take you to the rest of the paragraphs um, for this question. You do have the knowledge, it's having the confidence to actually sit down now and do the work. Okay, thanks guys, talk to you later.